All right, everybody, today we are covering a day-night cycle in Unity using a light and the animator tool. It's pretty easy and pretty quick, so this isn't going to be a very long video. First things first, you're going to want to add a light to your scene, a directional light for a sun. And you can go ahead and tweak the settings, uh, obviously mess with um, your intensity and, and however you're wanting it to look. Uh, in this particular example, we're working in the high definition render pipeline, so I'm able to use volumetrics, which is really nice and adds a cool uh, effect and some nice atmospherics to the area. I'm going to make sure my shadow map is enabled. And one important thing, so uh, you're going to want to make sure that it's set to real time. And I'm just going to move it up out of the way so we can see the effects it's having. It doesn't really matter what position it is when it's a directional light. And all we're going to do is animate it from a position of 0 to 360. So I'm going to hit Control 6 and then hit Create, create a new animation. I'm going to name it Light 2. And we're going to pop the uh, recording function on right here. And then on our rotation on the x-axis, I'm just going to change it to 360. And then I'm going to scroll back here and just find a ridiculous amount of time so that we're able to tweak it got plenty of frames in between and now change this factor to zero so it shouldn't look like it's changed at all and that's the idea so you get a full cycle we're gonna turn off the record function and just scroll through our animation now and as you see we've got a pretty nice little day night cycle you can change the timing of your animation in the animator tab right here. So it's set to 1 now. Um, if you wanted you know, longer days, you would set it to a lower value, like 0 0.1. We're going to speed it up, set it to 4, and take a look at it real quick. All right, we're here looking at it in our scene view, but while the game is running. Don't mind my crazy uh, cables I got going on here. They're all physics active, even though they really don't need to be. And they take a second to settle in. All right, because we started uh, at nighttime, we're not going to see a whole lot of effect. Uh, it'll pop in, the sun will pop in in a second, and because we're using a uh, procedural sky that's built into the high definition render pipeline, we're going to get a nice transition uh, of those atmospherics. There it goes. And we got some nice god rays as well. So one thing I actually have set up um, on the one that I built in, but I'm not going to cover specifically because it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, if you wanted a, a moonlight, for example, uh, for the nighttime, you can just duplicate that light, tweak its factors such as coloration, intensity, atmospheric effect, um, and you'll then uh, rotate it so that it's maybe not necessarily the opposite, but it's uh, going against your sunlight, and that will create a nice little moon effect. Anyway, if this has been helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, come check out my game Sweet Pea. It is on Steam. It's on sale right now. Maybe not by the time you watch this, but hey, you never know. Either way, it's at a good price. Uh, I've been working on it for over a year. I hope that I can be of more help in the future, and... Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a good one.